Hey guys, it's Jake here, and I'm going to be starting something new. I'm going to show you how to make a text-based browser game with jQuery, HTML, and CSS. So, first of all, first things first, go to jQuery.com and download. It. click on Download jQuery. And you can actually download it. You have to hit Control-A and then Control-C to select all and then copy it. And then what we're going to do after that is create a new folder wherever you want and call it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine game. And inside that folder create a new folder called scripts. And inside that create a new text document called jQuery.js. Okay, double click that to open it and press control V to paste it and control S to save. So now what that file does is it basically allows us to use jQuery which is fancy effects and it, like real time um, page editing and stuff. Okay so once you have that done what jQuery is gonna do is it's gonna allow us to use like fade in effects and like real time page editing and stuff and um, we're gonna be able to create something like this something where it gives you a scenario that you come up with and you can say like take paperclip for example in this game that I made and it says you picked up a paperclip and then if you were to say like inventory it'll show you that you have a paperclip in your inventory so you're gonna be able to create a, a browser game with this technique so open up your Dreamweaver so we're gonna create a new site so go to site, manage sites, create a new one and you're gonna navigate to the folder that you s made your game in so we're gonna select the folder game and we're gonna call it game okay so we're gonna save that and you might get some error messages I don't know why but I get those every time okay so now once you do that you should see that you have your scripts folder there and your jQuery there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, we're gonna right click on the root folder and say new file and we're going to call that index.html. So open that up, and you get this. First things first, in the title section, put the title of your game, or whatever title you want. And in the head section, right under this head tag here, put in script type equals text slash JavaScript. Source src equals scripts this is the directory where we save that scripts slash uh, jQuery dot js and you put a slash scripts script at the end now what that basically does is that calls in the jQuery file and allows us to use it on our page alright so now we're gonna come up with the basic design of the page so under the body tag put a division with ID of um, we're gonna call it console and this is the part you can put slash DOV at the end there this is the part that will do this that will show you all the messages that's where all the content is going to be placed now here's where pre-planning your story comes in handy um, the way I have this set up and the way that we're gonna set it up is we're going to have these paragraph tags. We're going to say PID equals uh, message start start game. And you can give it any name you want that you'll be able to remember it by and that makes logical sense to you. Like for instance, whenever I want a message to show I always put message underscore and then a descriptor of that message so for example right here we have message start game so I know that's a message that's gonna be shown when the game starts and then here you can type in whatever you want welcome to my game um, you must type commands to get through it and you type in slash p and we're gonna have that show when the game first starts up now 
usually text-based games have rooms in them or whatever. So we're going to make a message that shows when you enter a new room. So I'm going to call this one PID is equal to area um, north door. I'm going to call it north corridor. And then you can say you are in the north corridor. I'm going to put in slash p there. Okay. Make sure to control s save your work um, all the time just in case something unfortunate were to happen. Okay. So those are basically our messages now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a div below all these tags and we're going to this is where comments come in handy. We're going to say placeholder. This is where everything will be inserted before. So basically what this div does is, let's go back to my page. There's an invisible div right here that goes underneath the content. And what we're going to do later on is when we want to add a message, like if you said, you know, gibberish, it says, I don't understand gibberish, you know, it's going to insert this before the invisible div. So that way it keeps like a running tally of what has been said and what has shown up. So we're going to go in and we're going to just see, say, uh, division ID is equal to placeholder. And this is going to be really useful. We can just say slash div after that. Okay, save that. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to create the input box. So we're going to say form on submit is um, form on submit equals return false. Now what this is going to do, what that line says is basically when you hit the enter key it's not going to see if there's any processing forms. It's not going to refresh the page. It's just the form tag is basically just there to allow us to put a, an input box in, basically. And so that when you hit enter, um, we'll be able to grab that information in the input box and process it later with jQuery. OK, so now what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to create the input box. We're going to say input type equals, um, we're going to say text, and we're going to say size, size equals 50, because we want it to be nice and big. And we want to say auto focus equals auto focus. And this is a nice new HTML5 feature that automatically puts your cursor inside the text box so that a person can just start typing and they'll be good to go. And we're going to give this an ID of uh, command line just so that we know that this is where the commands are being entered. Alright, now below that we are going to put script. What is going on? Below that, we're going to put um, script type equals text slash JavaScript. And we're going to say source is equal to script slash game dot JS. And you should probably name it game so that you know that that's the code that's going to house all your, all your commands, your gaming commands. So what this is doing now is this is setting us up so that we can create, well let's do that now. So this is going to say, oh, insert this JavaScript code at in the page to run the game. So we're going to go to scripts, right click, say new file, and call it game.js. Oops, not JSL. I want to edit rename. No, edit rename. Okay. So next episode, we're going to start actually putting the code together for the game. 
and as well as maybe working a little bit of CSS. So until next time, see you later.